Okay, this isn't uh, a big revelation or a big mystery solve, anything like that. I just like to have, I like to make videos like this and have this stuff on the record because we all got to start somewhere and it's good information to have quick, easy access to. So what you're looking at here is 100% proof positive that there is a gun control, gun confiscation, repealing the Second Amendment, whatever you want to call it, agenda. Um, this is it. This is a 80-page report came out in 2012 prior to Sandy Hook. It's called Preventing Gun Violence Through Effective Messaging, written by these three fancy pants, big wig Cleveland steamers. Now, what I did is I also found a mainstream media article for you, so you can see this is absolutely used by the politicians to push gun control. Exploiting tragedies, Dems gun grab, guidelines emphasize emotional assaults over facts. And no, I'm not blaming the Democrats because a politician's a politician. There is no such thing as Republican and Democrat. They're all that screw us, doesn't matter. A recently uncovered 2012 gun lobby report titled Preventing Gun Violence Through Effective Messaging provides talking point guidelines to take advantage of violent events to advance firearms legislation. Now let's take a little look inside here. The debate over gun violence in America is periodically punctuated by high-profile gun violence incidents including Columbine, Virginia Tech, Tucson, the Trayvon Martin killing, Aurora, and Oak Creek. When an incident such as, incident such as these attracts sustained media attention, it creates a unique climate for our communications efforts. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Love that. Now let's go down to this. Okay, for a full decade, the United States had in place a ban on the sale of assault weapons, but thanks to the lobbying power of the NRA, the ban was allowed to expire in 2004. Putting a new, stronger ban on assault weapons in place would be a powerful first step in restoring common sense to America's gun laws. So I know people get all upset whenever this stuff gets brought up. So regardless of the fact of whether or not these shootings are orchestrated, completely irrelevant, the fact stands right here in front of your face in black and white that regardless of whether or not these things are created and orchestrated they are used as platforms to push gun control so the next time something like the Oregon high school shooting happens or Sandy Hook and within minutes there's someone on the mainstream media pushing gun control they're most likely reading right off this thing thanks to my teammates and subs for all the support links will be below